Hey YouTubers, Rival X Factor, time for another episode of Control Freak where I help you guys master a gun and kit combination, give you insider tips on how to control the recoil and how to burst fire, when to burst fire, because every kit's different. And you're actually seeing me unlock this pro skill can, the M60 E4, <laughs> before your eyes. I'm so excited, I wanted to go type the LOL, but I forgot there's people next this to me, so I had to quickly find the keyboard and the mouse oh again. My so, my bad. On we go. So the M60E4 uh, is not an easy gun to use. It is one of the harder guns in the game due to the massive spread it has, low muzzle velocity, and low rate of fire. So what are the pros? Bullets in the mag, and it hits like a truck. This thing's like the G3A3, but not as accurate. So let's compare this thing to the M16A3, probably my favorite go-to kit for performance-wise next to the AEK. M16 does 25 per damage, up to about 8 meters. The M60, 34. So that's a 68 headshot. So what can you do? You can two-shot somebody with the M16, M60. Either double headshot, or head chest shot, or chest headshot. Two bullets. Disgusting. So that kind of makes up for the crappy rate of fire at 560, or 580 rate of fire, versus the M16's 800 rate of fire. Big difference there. So what's the big negative here? Just the spread. The spread on this thing, while standing up, uh, crouched, and even prone, is pretty bad compared to the M16. So let's talk some numbers while ADS, a aiming down sight, okay, which I'm about to do here. The M60, while ADS standing up, has .05 spread. Me right now, crouched, while ADS has .4. That's insane. That is huge. Now, if I was standing up, it'd be 0.5. That's 10 times the spread compared to the M16. And obviously, I know this guy's here. The reload is killing me. So a good thing to have for this thing is extended mags. I'm not a big bipod player. I'm a big fan of the M27 IAR and have done some insane rounds with that gun. And I actually topped out all three rounds playing Metro with this gun in various combinations because you could still be a performer with this gun. It could still be a killer. You just really need to know when to burst fire. So right now I'm actually stalling so a couple of the minions can spawn on me because I got the back rage going. Chew through a couple people and I want to hit that side stair because this is 64 man Zerg style Metro and you get rewarded if you can get people uh, behind uh, with LMGs and some backup. So we're gonna go full, full, full back rage right here and uh, kill a bunch of lemmings. So this gun is accurate with the first two bullets is what I found. The sight is god awful. This thing is one of the most painful sights in the game. And extended mags would have been nice here because I would have been able to keep my streak going uh, more so than I had. Extended mags gives you 200. And the combination I like on this gun are extended mags and reflex sight. Uh, if you want to throw a bipod on, go ahead. The gun is just going to become uh, very, very accurate. But again, you're a sitting target. I'm not a big a fan of going bipod because you're an absolute sitting target. Let's say you hit a guy a couple times and you hurt him. He's coming back for you. If he's a smart player, he's going to pre-fire you, knowing exactly where your bipod is at. I don't care if you're already shooting that area. You're probably going to die. 80% of the time. Now here you see me with the extended mags on here with the reflex dot and uh, we're going to do some more work. And then another thing that's nice about this gun is Battlefield 3, the built-in mechanic suppression, so why not abuse it? I'm actually burst firing here. I'm actually not holding the trigger down. There's a little micro burst and we'll go over that in a second. Uh, the suppression factor to this gun per bullet is 10. That's, that's compared to uh, M16 at 7. That's a lot more. So it takes less bullets to get them suppressed or the effect is quicker. I don't really know the difference. And as you can see, that gun, I wouldn't be able to do that with the M16. I wouldn't be able to do that with the uh, AEK or any assault rifle. I needed the extra bullets in the mag, and the extra damage at that, at that range is incredible. So the nice thing is when you're ADS here, the accuracy is, is really nice. And I'm still microbursting while doing this. This gun does have a ton of vertical recoil. It does have a lot of kick and bullet spread, but it can be a tamed beast. This is one of the uh, higher recoil guns that I use. Most of you guys know I'm an assault rifle, uh, engineer carbine, AS Val, shotgun slug top of guy. So I'm mostly using medium to low, low recoil uh, sizes or rates compared to this gun.
Another thing I found with this gun in combination with the laser sight now, I was just testing that out for the hip fire accuracy, doesn't really help, is you can go heads up with this gun for about 40 meters to the assault rifles. Now remember, suppression is your friend, so just keep burst firing. That is all you have to do. Keep burst firing, don't ever stop. The second you stop burst firing is when they have the heads up. Or if they're not suppressed, they definitely have the heads up. So again, the first couple bullets are pretty accurate. So let's take a look at how to control the recoil and when and how to burst fire. Mag, and I'm going to throw foregrip on this. I didn't use foregrip in any of those scenes, but I think it could help with this kit a little bit. And uh, reflex sight. So how do we do this thing? Let's shoot at this wall and not compensate for recoil. Look how aggressive that vertical recoil is. That is ridiculous. So what do you do with this gun? You just pull straight down. All right, so it is much more aggressive compared to other weapons. And look at that bolt spread. Look at that. All right, so you never ever want to drop the hammer that hard. So what do you want to do? Let's say we're aiming from here to the building. Four to five bursts. Sometimes less. And even then you can see that you lose accuracy. If you can, go crouch. This is one gun that I would recommend definitely dropping down to crouch because look how tight that is comparatively speaking. So if you can, you could go to prone, of course. You could use a bipod, but again, I'm not a big fan of bipods, but that's the beauty of this game. It's your personal choice. So let's say I do go prone here. <laughs> you can definitely mag dump just a little bit. So work on your micro bursting. You can hear it here in the background. And that's it. Happy hunting. Good luck being a Rambo. I know I had a lot of fun doing it, and nothing is more rewarding than having this gun in your hand when you've got five to ten backs staring at you. Thanks for supporting me, YouTubers, and have a good day.